Hi everyone, and welcome to Anna Dialogue. Yes, today we're gonna talk, maybe you've guessed, static, electricity. Unfortunately, this phenomenon, uh, this annoying phenomenon, takes place in a lot of places actually. On our carpet, on our handles, and unfortunately it takes place also on our precious vinyl records. Are there solutions? There are. Let's take a look. Okay, static electricity. That's a huge problem. There are tons of videos on YouTube explaining how to protect yourself, how to eliminate, how to um, take control of uh, static electricity, which unfortunately builds up on a lot of components, not only on, on our records, on our brushes, also, for example, on our record sleeves. Uh, there, there are too many factors, too many elements in our listening chain that suffer from this um, problem. So there are a number of solutions, and I'm sure a lot of you all know uh, the main the main ones, which we, which do help to control this aspect. Because we must, I think this is important to state: static electricity um, interferes with the correct reading of our records, of our vinyl records. Unfortunately, it creates issues when the um, the cartridge tries tries to read inside the grooves. Plus, it attracts dust. So, um, there there is a variety of factors which ab which make static terribly a huge problem and uh, completely hated by the vinyl community, and not only the vinyl community. Okay, so let's take a look at the main solutions that we have to fight static, to control it and to eliminate it. Okay, because those are two different aspects of this problem and solutions of this problem. So, um, first of all, one important solution can be this. Our, I have already made a video on how to clean records. Here's a link. And I suggest to use the Knosti, as you can see, anti-stat. What is this? This type of solution that they make uh, creates a film on the record surface which somehow uh, stops the building, the, the charge of uh, electric static. So um, this is actually, this does work in, in, that, in that case. I mean, for many, um, uh, for, for many hours of playback, for many, I would say months, you're not gonna have problems with that record if you clean it with this. Unfortunately, we discovered that the new versions of this solution or maybe even this one actually, but it doesn't say anything on the label. The new versions do have a slight percentage of alcohol. I'm totally against alcohol in any cleaning solution. So take your chance there. I mean, you're not gonna have any issues immediately, but a lot of people claim that if in, in, in the, during years, if, if you do not rinse completely the solution and you leave on the film, which then you don't, then you didn't, that's why we're doing it for the antistatic uh, capability. That could melt a little bit slightly during time the vinyl record because it's plastic. Plastic suffers, it's be, it's, it gets eaten from alcohol. So please be careful of that. In any case, I'm sure that there are other solutions like this alcohol free. So look for them. Um, I'm not a big fan of cleaning records, except when they're obviously completely dirty and you buy them uh, online or in the garage sales or something like that. And, uh, and at that point, every, after 30 or 40 years of use, you really need to degrit that little disc. But let's proceed. Um, unfortunately, I've noticed that when we use these, which sometimes are claimed, whoop, sorry, sometimes are claimed to be against static. Unfortunately, I've noticed that brushes, even carbon, high quality carbon fiber brushes, do build electric static, elect static electricity. They, uh, with that rotation while you're cleaning them, it does increases the, uh, the static problem. So, and they say, they claim it, it doesn't, but it does, I think it does. 
uh, a good idea is uh, that of touching the, the, the spindle. That already starts to decharge a little bit the surface. But at that point, that's not going to be enough because the, the, um, the record really is really charged. And you can notice that because if you have your um, receiver on, you can hear that crickling because it's captured from the, uh, the cartridge. Even if it's resting on the side, it'll be captured. It's so strong. And that is harmful for your, for your hi-fi reproduction. So what can we do to kill that electric static buildup on your record when it's turning on the platter? There are two main solutions, I think. First of all, this is in dozens of videos, the Milti Zero Stat Gun. This costs a lot, but it does last for many years, and it really takes away the, uh, the, the, the static on the record. Um, maybe not 100%, but pretty close, I must say. This goes around 90, 100 year, uh, dollars, euro, it depends. You can find it on Amazon and on many other sites, and it's it's good. It's it, I mean it's it does work. You you'll see you hear the, the the difference. You're supposed to you're supposed to slightly um squeeze it without hearing this noise. You're supposed to squeeze it slightly towards the record and then pull it away. When you pull it away, you release. Okay, that's how you use the the zero stat. And I must say, this is pr probably one of the best solutions, also in terms of um, quality, benefit, and expense. Although it, may see, it might seem very expensive, but in that case, you're gonna eliminate that. Uh, then we have another solution, probably the most effective. But before going to that, I just wanna talk about record sleeves. Oh yes, because when you replace your record, um, you're gonna build again um, uh, static electricity if you don't use the correct um, pay, uh, record sleeve. Um, I think the best solution are these Nagaoka. The, uh, I think they're called 101, 102, I don't remember. Let's see, I have an example here, 102, yes. Um, here it is. As you can see, we have two great benefits here. First of all, as you can see, this very opaque type of plastic is, um, I wouldn't say 100%, but pretty close non-conductive, or at least it helps not to um, build up even more uh, static electricity. And in fact, these are highly regarded in that manner. Um, plus the second function of these excellent sleeves is as you can see the shape. Because a lot of people, I don't know why, suggest the Mophie, which are fantastic. The quality is probably even better, the ones of the Mobile Fidelity. Here's an image. Um, but unfortunately, they're square. And you cannot insert this inside a record sleeve, a paper sleeve, already present in one of your records. So, I mean, you know how many times you're gonna buy a record and you find your record inside a cool paper sleeve, but it's paper, it's gonna scratch. So these are fantastic because you, you can insert them. They fit inside uh, something that does not do the mobile fidelity, fidelity one. So two great aspects, two great reasons to buy this. Plus, as I said, there is a special solution. My talisman. Oh yes, literally. What, what am I talking about? The Walker Audio Talisman. This is something very special. I recently bumped into this and I must say that it is interesting. I'm, I'm not gonna go too, uh, too, too far with my conclusions because I have this, only, I have, I, I've been using this only for a few weeks actually, not that much. Um, what is this? Well, this is practically, I don't know exactly how this is structured inside, but it's a combination of magnet, magnets inside, it's very strong magnets. And uh, this really kills completely static electricity on anything. It'll, it'll really rip it right, right off for a decent uh, amount of time. Um, so this is fantastic for records. Um, also, very interesting, you, they, uh, the, the, um, the brand itself, the, the, the company, Walker Audio, highly suggests this to use on any kind, any kind of, um, of disc. 
uh, CDs, Blu-rays, Super Audio CDs, etc., DVDs, anything. Because even those, the silver disc, the digital disc, do suffer from static electricity, yes. So this greatly helps, and th th I mean, th this is something we all know, at least I already knew that, unfortunately, there are problems. And if you think about it, there is a, a laser reading the, the, the info on your digital media, on your digital disc, not all media. And this greatly helps to reduce um, the, the, the error trackings, the, the, the mistakes, and making it more simple to the machine. And I must say that it does increase slightly, not incredibly, how, which instead claims the, the, the brand on, the, on their website. It does increase the quality. I, I, I wouldn't claim it's a miracle when uh, I just say in Italy, rip off my hair and say, oh my God. No, um, but it does help. Moreover, they suggest also to use it on uh, a lot of parts of your components, on the cables, for example. I tried that, I didn't hear anything. I, they also highly suggest to use this on the drivers of your loudspeakers. Mmm, cool. I did that. I did notice a little benefit. Again, a little benefit though. I don't know, I still have to experiment, but I think, at least for its main purpose, the one of eliminating static electricity, it is fantastic. For the other solutions, I don't know. Well, stay tuned, I'll get back to it. I think it it does have benefits, but slight benefits, not, incre not incredible benefits. The only downside, in fact, is that it costs a lot, um, which in fact, we're going around 200, even something more, I think, uh, 220, something like that, <clears throat> dollars, euros, or worse, sterling, UK pound sterling. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you are gonna say, forget it, and maybe you're right. But um, if you do come across this, maybe used, or uh, I don't know, you do have the money, try it out, because I think it's worth it, especially for demagnetizing, for getting away, removing all that is static. In fact, you can also demagnetize other things with this. Be careful, do not put it next to your tapes or anything like that. Um, so the talisman is an incredible new solution with I, which I suggest to experiment if you are willing to spend that money. So apparently you just start with your record, your CD or whatever it is, Blu-ray, Super Audio CD, DVD, with the label up and you start rotating. I mean all the instructions are inside. I just wanted to show you. You're supposed to do this for a few seconds. <clears throat> Turn it around on the other side. A few seconds. Distance around half an inch. You put it here. While you keep put your finger on to on it, you try to do the same thing like this. Up and above slowly away and you're set man okay while well, we're talking LP you start spinning your disc be careful to your cart to your cartridge keep this away it's not going to be a talisman then it's going to kill everything you put it on this side you slightly touch the record with your finger and you do some rotations again around one inch better half an inch really close but don't touch it you do this for a few seconds and then you slightly take it away and then you take off your um finger and at that point again we are ready. That's dirt, not static. Okay, last but not least, Loudspeakers. If you want, the you can treat also the cables. As I said, you just have to keep it at a 
uh, 45 we could say degree this is your cable and you just put it like this along along okay I did it I didn't get any much benefit instead with the loudspeakers I do I did find some benefit in doing this so um you just go across every every each little driver for just a few seconds again without touching it now be careful because there are magnets inside so that will attract the talisman to it you treat you treat each driver for around 10 seconds each both of them and they will last for one listening session not that much actually but again it's good pretty good you decide bye guys i hope you enjoyed this video this was a short one this time i made it it's pretty short i think and hope to see you soon guys bye